Okay, I have a 2012 Sportster Custom. I uh, filled up my bike, started leaking out of the check valve, got to watching some videos on how to rebuild them. I bought this $90 O-ring removal and installation kit. Uh, it has pretty good instructions with it. My O-rings were dry rotted, so the little hooks and these tools to pull the old O-rings out. You're supposed to be able to put them on there and then do it on the bike like this and just spin them around and it pulls the O-rings out. Didn't work for me. My O-rings were too dry rotted, too stiff. They didn't want to come out. So I had to move the gas tank completely with those two bolts, remove the seat first. And then there's one electrical plug here and I think it's a vent tube. But essentially I used pick tools to pull the O-rings out of the tank. And then I used WD-40, compressed air, and carb cleaner to clean all the little black chunks of the dry rotted O-rings out. Now, what did help me was this tool. You, you kind of stack the new hardware in there shove it up in the collar and then take your your B tool push it up through there and it it seats the inner stuff and then this little tool and the A tool seats your outer o-ring so all in all the tool was probably worth it probably cheaper than going taking my bike to Harley paying them outrageous amounts per hour just to fix the fuel leak the fuel line o-ring that one was dry rotted as well pick tools easy enough same thing push down in there and pick that o-ring out you can put those back in fairly easy that kit comes with instructions too it's pretty straightforward but yeah if you have newer o-rings the tool might pull them out didn't for me so i had to pull the tank but that still wasn't too rough so hopefully now these new O-rings hold for me and I don't leak any fuel. All right, I've run the fuel pump through a couple cycles, started it a few times. Doesn't look like it's leaking. So the O-rings did me good. A couple notes that I couldn't find in other videos. I'm not 100% sure if you have to drain the tank the entire way or some are saying just stick a screwdriver up in there and you release the pressure from that in the tank line and then it shouldn't leak anymore. I don't know. I ended up draining the whole tank just to be sure, which kind of sucked just because I had filled it up. Uh, my fuel tank is a 13 millimeter and I used a quarter inch Allen on the other side. The seat is just... A Phillips. So I mean, the $90 tool I bought helped me get the O-rings in. I've seen other videos people get them in using different means, but the tool was pretty simple in putting the new O-rings back. I mean, I had to use pick tools to get the old ones out, but aside from that, the go back was real easy. And there we have it. Hopefully, she lasts.